Welcome to my channel. Another day, something to learn. A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers, symbols, or expressions arranged in rows and columns. Matrices are used to represent systems of linear equations, transformations of geometric objects, and more generally in the formulation and solution of mathematical problems. Matrices can be added, subtracted, multiplied, and transformed using elementary operations such as row operations and column operations. Matrices play a central role in the field of linear algebra, which is important in mathematics, physics, engineering, computer science, and many other disciplines. Matrices are also used in many applications such as computer graphics, optimization, statistics, economics, and social sciences. The study of matrices has led to the development of various techniques and algorithms for solving mathematical problems, including the famous Gauss-Jordan elimination method. Matrix inverse, transpose, identity matrix, and complex conjugate are essential concepts in matrix algebra. The matrix inverse is a matrix that when multiplied by a given matrix yields the identity matrix. The transpose of a matrix is created by interchanging its rows and columns. The identity matrix is a square matrix with ones in its diagonal and zeros elsewhere. The complex conjugate of a matrix replaces every complex number in the matrix by its conjugate. Matrix operations are essential in solving mathematical problems. Some important matrix operations include the inverse, transpose, identity matrix, complex conjugate, and Hermitian matrix. The inverse of a matrix allows for solving systems of equations, while the transpose is used in linear algebra and is important for solving systems of linear equations. The identity matrix is important as it maintains the properties of a matrix while multiplying other matrices. The complex conjugate of a matrix is able to convert imaginary numbers to real numbers, and the Hermitian matrix is used in quantum mechanics to calculate probabilities. For example, the inverse matrix operation can be used to solve simultaneous linear equations, while the transpose can be used in solving least squares problems. In summary, the use of matrix operations is vital in modern mathematics and has practical applications in fields such as physics, engineering, and computer science. An inverse matrix is a partner matrix to a given square matrix. If two matrices, A and B, are inverses of each other, then AB equals BA equals I, where I is the identity matrix. The inverse of a matrix, if it exists, can be used to solve equations or problems involving the original matrix. For instance, if A is a matrix representing a system of linear equations, then if we can find its inverse matrix, we can use it to solve the system of equations. The inverse matrix exists only if the determinant of the matrix is not zero. Finding the inverse of a matrix can be done through various methods such as row reduction, adjoint method or diagonalization. Overall, inverse matrices are a useful concept in mathematics and have applications in many fields such as engineering, physics, economics and statistics. An identity matrix is a particular type of square matrix that has ones, ones, on the diagonal from the upper left to the lower right corner and zeros, zeros, everywhere else. The identity matrix is denoted as I, and the size of the matrix is usually represented by the number of rows or columns. The identity matrix is important in mathematics and computer science because, when multiplied by another matrix, it leaves the matrix unchanged. This property is similar to the way that multiplying a number by one leaves the number unchanged, and it can be useful in many applications such as linear transformations, solving systems of equations, and manipulating vectors. In linear algebra, the concept of complex conjugate comes into play when dealing with complex matrices. Given a complex matrix, its complex conjugate is another matrix that is obtained by replacing each entry in the matrix with its complex conjugate. This means that for a complex number A plus by, its complex conjugate would be A, by. Similarly, for a complex matrix A, its complex conjugate, denoted by a bar, can be obtained by taking the complex conjugate of each entry in A. The complex conjugate of a matrix is important in many areas of mathematics and physics, including Fourier analysis, where it is used to obtain the inverse of a complex matrix. 
It is also used in quantum mechanics to find the probability amplitudes of the wave functions of particles. A Hermitian matrix is a special type of square matrix where the complex conjugate of the matrix is equal to its transpose. In other words, the matrix is equal to its own conjugate transpose. This means that the matrix has real eigenvalues and orthogonal eigenvectors, which have important applications in quantum mechanics and linear algebra. Hermitian matrices are also important in signal processing, image processing, and data analysis, as they allow for efficient computation of various operations, such as the Fourier transform and linear regression. Additionally, Hermitian matrices play a significant role in the spectral theorem, which states that any Hermitian matrix can be diagonalized by a unitary transformation, leading to valuable insights in various mathematical fields. The transpose of a matrix is a new matrix that is created by interchanging the rows and columns of the original matrix. In other words, the transpose of an MXN matrix A is an NXM matrix AT, where each element of AT is located at the corresponding position in A but interchanging its row and column indices. The process of transposing a matrix is often represented using the notation AT. The transpose of a matrix is useful in many areas of mathematics, engineering, and computer science. For example, it plays a vital role in solving systems of linear equations, computing matrix inverses, and matrix factorization. Additionally, it can be used to compute various matrix operations such as the dot product, outer product, and matrix multiplication. In matrix algebra, a vector is a mathematical entity that represents a series of values arranged in a single column or row. It can be thought of as a one-dimensional array that denotes a direction and magnitude, and its entries can either be real or complex numbers. In other words, a vector is a special case of a matrix with only one row or column, and it is denoted by a lowercase letter with an arrow on top, such as V. Vectors are an essential tool in linear algebra and can be used to perform various operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and dot product. They are also frequently used in various fields such as physics, engineering, and computer science for applications such as modeling, data analysis, and machine learning. Conclusion Matrix refers to a rectangular array of numbers, symbols, or expressions arranged in rows and columns. Matrices play a crucial role in various fields, particularly in mathematics, physics, engineering, and computer science. They are used to represent and solve systems of linear equations, linear transformations, and data sets, among other applications. Matrices have specific properties that enable them to undergo operations like addition, multiplication, inversion, and transposition. These operations facilitate many computations and algorithms used in numerical analysis, optimization, machine learning, and other areas. Additionally, matrices can be decomposed into simpler forms like eigenvalues and eigenvectors, singular values and singular vectors, and other factorization that enhance the theoretical and practical usefulness. Matrices have several variants like square, rectangular, symmetric, positive definite, stochastic, sparse, and structured matrices, each with its own properties and applications. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons.